Hello! Today we went to Golden Apple Comics in Hollywood. This is probably one of the most well-known shops in LA. On the inside they have lots of everything. Figurines, R2-D2, and of course a variety of different comics from kids to adult variety. The interior is fairly large with lots of selection. They also have parking on the side. If you're wondering why a food blog would review a comic book shop, well, because I felt like it. And also, they have free wine tastings. And as you'll see in this coming interview, lots of other connections to the food world. I'll let the current owner of the store, Ryan Leibowitz, tell you more. Hey, I'm Ryan Leibowitz. I'm the owner and manager here at Golden Apple Comics. Oh, yeah, and uh, it's a family business. My dad started it back in 1979. So we've been around for uh, over 34 years. We sell mainly comic books and pop culture, graphic novels. We also have t-shirts and toys and a lot of statues and things like that. One of the most things we're known for is our celebrity clientele, actually. Uh, Michael Jackson shopped here for years. We have a lot of celebrities like you know, actors and musicians and people that come in here because we are in the center of Hollywood. We have Pink's Hot Dogs across the street and, and we're a stop on the big tour tour bus circuit. So uh, we get a lot of people in here. You never know who you might see when you walk or walk in. Um, and we've been around so long, we've, we're sort of world known all over, uh, everywhere, anyone who kind of relates us to comic books. Um, as far as uh, this cool food blog, we do have kind of a cool food uh, history as well. There's a newer graphic novel that's actually done by Anthony Bourdain. This is the book. Uh, from No Reservations fame. And we've had a few celebrity chefs come through here, guys like Duff Goldman, you know, uh, Asa Cakes and stuff like that. So, so I'm kind of a foodie myself, so I kind of geek out more on the food guys that come through here than the, than the comic book guys. But uh, speaking of that, we do signings all the time and events all the time. We have, uh, we have celebrity events with guys like, what, say, like a Gene Simmons or somebody like that. Um, and then we have obviously the comic book guys. We have artists, writers, creators. You know, and we've been doing this for over 30 years, so we've sort of had everybody from Stan Lee to, you know, some, somebody you may or may not have heard of before in the food world. But uh, uh, anyway, that's me, that's my story, that's our store, it's called Golden Apple. Uh, there's a funny story behind that, you can probably read about it if you Google it. I've Googled that story so you don't have to. When his father opened the store in 1979, he had a partner who also owned a cigar shop. When it came time to name the store, the partner just so happened to have these bags with Golden Apple printed on them. So that was the name they went with. In addition to that, when sci-fi author Ray Bradbury, who had a novel titled Golden Apples of the Sun, came to their store, he asked, Did you name the store in honor of my book? And his father, of course, replied, Yes, Mr. Bradbury, of course we named it after that. And uh, thanks a lot out there in the food land. Come buy some comic books, read comic books. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more every day, Garmand. Remember to follow us on social media. Spider Man, Spider Man, do do do.